This is problem number 11 from the homework. Uh, it says ethanol <clears throat> has a vapor pressure of 59 millimeters of mercury at 25 degrees. What quantity of energy as heat is required to evaporate 125 milliliters of the alcohol at 25 degrees? All right, so we're wanting to know how much energy, how much heat is required to evaporate this much of the alcohol, right? And it gives us its, it gives us its enthalpy of vaporization at that temperature, which is 42.32 kilojoules per mole, okay? So just like uh, with the one before, kilojoules per mole, that means there's this much, this many kilojoules, 42.32 kilojoules for every mole of this alcohol that is vaporized at that temperature. That's how much energy is required to vaporize each mole of the alcohol. All right. So the question is how many moles of the alcohol do we have? And then we multiply that and cancel out the moles to get the kilojoules. Okay. So where do we get moles from? Well, if we have a mass of alcohol that is evaporating, then we can uh, determine the moles because we know it's uh, molar mass or we can determine its molar mass from the formula. All right, so we have a volume of the alcohol, but then it gives us this uh, information. The density of the liquid is 0.7849 grams per milliliter. Okay, so there's this many grams for every milliliter and I have 125 milliliters. So guess what? I can find how many grams I have. Once I have the grams, I add up the weights of the atoms to find the molar mass, grams per mole, then I cancel the grams to get moles, and I cancel that to get kilojoules. All right, so let's work this problem out. <clears throat> All right, so we have, um, First of all, the, uh, oh, where is it, 42.32 kilojoules per mole. Let me just write out the information that we're given. Um, we know we have 125 milliliters and there's 0 0.7849 grams per milliliter. Okay, um, and also ethanol is CH3 CH2OH okay from this we can find the molar mass we will need that as well all right so um, we are given more information but that uh, vapor pressure of 59 millimeters mercury is really not that useful okay we don't need that here. We're just looking at these units. We say, okay, I can cancel those moles if I, uh, you know, going this route from the density I can and the volume, I can find the mass. From the mass, I can find the moles, and then I cancel to get the kilojoules. Okay. So we know we uh, are looking for kilojoules, okay? We're looking for energy in the end. So we can just start with that and then uh, work our way backward to cancel out those moles, right? So let's start with 42.32 kilojoules per mole, all right? And now we're going to work back to cancel the moles. So I need moles here, and this will be my molar mass to get this uh, to grams. All right, so how many grams per mole? That comes from the formula. We have two carbon, and each carbon is 12.01 um, um, I'll go ahead and put that 12.011 uh, grams per mole. And we have one oxygen, okay, at 16.00 uh, um, grams per mole 
and we have five, uh, rather six, ox uh, hydrogen at 1.0079, okay? Those are all grams per mole. So when we add these up, two times 12.011 plus 16 plus one, uh, six times 1.0079, we, uh, let's just see what we get here. 2 times 12.011 plus um, 16 plus plus 6 times 1.0079. We get 46.069, or I'll just say 46.07. Okay. So that is the value we're going to use here, 46.07 grams per mole, set up so that the moles will cancel. Now we need to get rid of the grams. Well, we have that in our density, so we can convert to milliliters, and then we can clear out the milliliters in the end. All right. So 0 0.7849 grams to one milliliter, cancel the grams, and then we have 125 milliliters. Okay, so that cancels out those units, and we can put a one there if you like, um, and we'll end up with kilojoules. Okay, so uh, let's Go ahead and calculate this out. 42.32 divided by 46.07 times 0 0.7849 times 125, and we get 90.126. Okay, so here we have 90 point, and I don't need but four, so I'll just say one, three um, kilojoules. Okay, so that is the final answer. So again, in these kind of problems, you're looking at the units of what you're given, and what is the meaning? Kilojoules per mole. That means that many kilojoules are required to, and this is the enthalpy of vaporization, so that much is required to vaporize every mole. Okay, and then it's a matter of, well, how many moles do I have? All right, well, I have so many milliliters, and I know there's so many grams per milliliter, and I can find out how many grams per mole there are, and so we uh, use all that together and determine that this much energy is required to vaporize 125 milliliters of ethanol at 25 degrees.